welcome back to the channel. I'm Neil, and today we're jumping back into some Pokemon with a drawing of Jigglypuff. But before we do that, I wanted to remind everybody out there that we post brand new videos on our channel here every Thursday. So when your calendar goes past Tuesday, goes past Wednesday, not Friday, but Thursday, come on back to the channel for some more drawings. All right, let's get into our drawing of All right, let's get started on our drawing of Jigglypuff. So for this one, you're gonna need your drawing utensil. I'm using a marker, but feel free to use whatever's most comfortable for you to draw with. You're gonna need that piece of paper. And then uh, these are the colors that I chose for Jigglypuff, but if you don't like these, feel free to choose your own. There's nothing wrong in art. Also, if I'm going too fast in the tutorial today, feel free to push that pause button or hit the rewind. I want you guys to be able to follow along as comfortably as possible and have lots of fun. All right, here we go. First step, we're gonna draw a series of lines that sort of looks like a circle. And I'll show you what that means. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna draw a curved line around to about there. We're gonna break a little bit. And then we're gonna keep that line going down to about there. We're gonna break a little bit. And then come down and keep that going. So about here, and we're gonna break, this one's gonna be a bigger break. And then we're gonna keep that line going around to about there. Next, we're gonna draw Jigglypuff's ears. So they're gonna start right here. We're gonna draw a curved line up and out like this. We're gonna curve that around and down like that. Same thing on this side, we're gonna curve that line up so about there, then we're gonna start from about here, curve that line up and connect to the other line. Then we'll draw Jigglypuff's hair. So that's gonna start right at about here. So we're just gonna curve a line out and down and it kind of curls around and up like this. Then we're going to indicate the underside of the hair. We're gonna curve a line down like this and back up like that. Next, we'll draw the inside of Jigglypuff's ears. So we're gonna pretend that this line keeps going here, but we're gonna break right here, and we're going to draw that line right to about there. Then we're gonna mirror these lines that we just drew for the ear. We're gonna curve up like this. A little bit further there. Then curve back down and into that line we just drew. Same thing over here. We're going to pretend like we're drawing that line all the way, they, all the way through. That is incorrect. Blah, 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 blah. All the way through. <laughs> we're gonna jump over a little bit. We're gonna continue that line going up like that to about there. Then again, we're gonna mirror those lines. Curve up like that, and then curve up like that. Next, we'll draw Jigglypuff's eyes. So the first one starts over here on the right hand side of your paper, but it's actually the left eye. We're gonna start right here. We're gonna draw a circle. So go all the way around. She's got big, big eyes. Like that. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, but we're gonna pretend that there's a line here that goes across. Cause this kind of gives us, she's got her head tilted and that line sort of indicates the direction of the tilt. So we're gonna put a, line, a dot right here and we are going to draw the circle starting from that point all the way around and down and up and back in like that. Next, we'll draw Jigglypuff's irises slash pupils. She really doesn't have pupils, she just has an iris. <laughs> so we'll start from here. We're gonna do an inner circle all the way around to the top there, going down like this and around and in like that. So she's kind of looking up this direction. Same thing on this side, we're going to draw around, down, up and in like that. So it's basically the outer shape, just a little bit smaller. Then we'll go ahead and put that light indication in there with a small circle. So we'll go circle like this, same thing on this side, circle like this. And that'll indicate that light point. Then we'll go ahead and draw Jigglypuff's mouth. So that's right 
uh, sort of below the eye there, almost at the bottom of the eyes here. So we'll start here. We'll draw her a nice little smile. All the way up like that. Real simple. Then we'll draw some arms in there. So her arms are kind of just little stumpy versions of her ears, actually. They're the same shape. So we're gonna curve a line starting here all the way down like that. Then we'll curve a line back in like that. And then over here, the reason why we left this giant gap here is because we're gonna put another arm in there. So we're gonna start up here. We're gonna curve that line down to about there. Then we'll pick that up over here and we'll curve that line up and in like that. And last but not least, we'll add some feet to Jigglypuff. So we'll start over here. They're kind of oval shaped. So right here, we'll go around and back up in like that. And then on this side, this one's a little bit pointed this direction. So we'll go down like this and back in like that. And that's Jigglypuff's feet. And then if you want to, you can draw a little bit of background and some ground she's standing on, just with some lines. Starting from here, we'll go all the way across to connect to the foot there. Keep that line going all the way through. And we'll pull it out to the other side. And if you want to add some, maybe some grass that she's hiding in, because that's the way they hide in the game. They hide in that grass. You can add that in there like that. Or if you want to, I'm gonna add a mushroom in here. So we'll just curve line up like this. The one on this side going the opposite direction. And we'll curve a line down like this, and maybe have it cut off behind her. And up and over like that. And then I'm gonna put some spots on it. All right, there's your line work for Jigglypuff. And now it's time for the gratuitous, cringeworthy, slightly annoying Jet Joke. Okay. Somebody the other day asked me why my bald friend still carries a comb. I told him he just couldn't part with it. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our drawing step and we'll do that at super speed starting now. your fully colored Jigglypuff. Now if you want to color in the background too, I went ahead and added these green colors and some orange and this off brown color to the background. Feel free to do that or make your own colors or not color in the background. It's up to you. Thanks everybody for drawing along with me. I hope you guys had lots of fun drawing Jigglypuff. Hey, if you want to go support the channel, just go down below, click that subscribe button and smash the like button. Also, if you want to learn to draw more things or more Pokemon, we have those over at the channel on Truly Outrageous. Feel free to peruse those after this video is over. All right, that's gonna wrap us up for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.